everybody. I'm your host, Kelly Sparks. Hey, gay. Hey, dude. Hello, Bonnie. How are you? Hey, look, everybody. Look who it is. Old Bonnie Butt. Anyway, so got a brand new whiskey for us to try. Uh, now, all new whiskeys for for patrons. Looks like a rat turd. <laughs> um, all new whiskeys is pretty much for my patrons. Uh, will be added to the list. So if you want to uh, try a sample, if this is not available in your area, if you've never seen it, um, I mean, by all means, join my Patreon and you can have your chance to get some samples. So this is batch number two, limited release, Knob Creek, cast strength, rye whiskey. Whiskey. Uh, so this one says it was barreled in 20, this is whiskey Bonnie, you don't like whiskey. Barreled in 2010, it is 127 proof, 63.5% alcohol from Warehouse A. So this, I didn't get to have their, I'm not a fan of the, uh, the, the wax on this one. I did not get to have the very first batch, which I'm not really sure when that one was released. Um, I didn't look it up. I didn't. I didn't bother with it. But I didn't get to have the first. I do have, uh, although I do have the uh, the single barrel pick from my local goody goody. Uh, so this will be first time review, first time sip. Kind of. I was eyeballing this one. I was going back and forth. Between this one, the 2019-03 Booker's, uh, Balconus Blue Corn Bourbon. It's only a 27-month-old whiskey, but it is twice as dark as this one. And this is a, a nine-year-old, I believe it's a nine-year-old whiskey. Uh, and it's twice as dark, almost, as this one. Uh, so I was going between that one. Uh, bottle of rare breed. I've been really liking the rare breed. I've kind of had it as a, a daily, so, somewhat daily drinker. Uh, just sipping on it. One one glass here, two, whatever. Uh, but I was going back and forth between this one, the Balconis Blue Corn Bourbon, which I still might get. Uh, the Booker's 2019-03 and the rare breed. So I decided on this one because I hadn't had it. It's a new review. I've kind of wanted to drift back into some rye whiskeys we just did that peerless review so this will end the week with a rye review Ooh, man that's definitely got that that jim beam nose to it it's just heavy cinnamon toffee so you get some rye spice on that one as well it's it's probably more like a super heavy, super high rye bourbon is what it is. spicy so the combination actually it's not near as hot as I thought it was going to be being 127 proof you get that rye spice you get that it's like uh, that grassy note that you get from a lot of different ryes but you do get a heavy cinnamon heavy chocolate presence chocolate toffee or something Super oily mouthfeel. All in all, man, that's a that's a pretty solid whiskey right there. I, I don't feel bad for buying it. <laughs> Bonnie. So I will add this one to the list. I'll probably sip on it as well, so 
might not have as many samples <laughs> depending on what time of the month you call me or you you get a hold of me come here get here quit your whining come over here hang out with everybody so don't you push that off I'm gonna lick the bottle. I'm gonna lick the bottle. You're a bony. So, the second one had like a very minty. What is it? You waving to everybody? Wave to everybody. Had a, uh, a minty note on it. Experiment. About time for you to trim your nails. And it's like chocolate covered spearmint with some cinnamon. That rye spice. I mean, that's a solid whiskey right there. Mm -hmm. You hush. You hush. You go lay down. Yeah, I think I might have a few more glasses of this tonight. Let it open up a little bit over the next week or so, two weeks. Uh, oh yeah, and for those of you who are not a Patreon patron, uh, somebody went ahead and donated a pretty good sum, and uh, they took the rest of that uh, Pappy Van Winkle 12 year lot B that I had sitting around. So sorry about your luck. That's how it goes. First come, first serve. I really like this one. It's super spicy, but with the the alcohol level, it's not near as hot as you'd think. You can definitely tell it's got that Jim Beam nutty funk to it. But that's super good. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's all I got. Oh yeah, uh, if you've stuck around this far, I'm, I'm planning something to get people a little more active, either in the comments or with the channel. I, I have to figure out how I'm gonna do it or what we're gonna find but I want to do a scavenger hunt on my videos so I'm gonna go back and I'll probably block it off so you're not having to go watch 450 videos thanks Brian Stessel uh, Brian Stessel from the Hervcast <laughs> pretty much set his computer clicked on the channel and hit play all and just let it run and I think he got through like 450 videos by the time his uh, computer stopped on him. <laughs> so thanks, Brian. That's Brian Stessel at the Herfcast Podcast. Check him out. But I want to do a, uh, a scavenger hunt um, through like a block of videos. So, or a date. I might pick a date and then pick random phrases throughout those videos maybe five phrases throughout like 20 videos. So a, sp a span of 20 videos with five different phrases. And once I do figure out what I want to, what phrases I want to pick, uh, I'll just have the first person to comment the timestamp in video. So like what video, or even they can just go back. Yeah, and probably just do what video. Hey, in what video I said this. So. Um, I'm thinking about doing that and then do like a giveaway so this will be open to all viewers uh, probably do maybe like a, a two or three pack sampler or something like that so that's what I'm thinking for next month for December I gotta sit down and watch my own videos and figure out the phrases that I want to say <laughs> or the ones that I want to pick something that's one off um, but yeah, so in December, I think I'm going to do a scavenger hunt with the uh, the viewers out there. Um, 
Monday, I'm probably going to post a video uh, for my patrons. I didn't really pick up anything <clears throat> special this month other than this uh, for giveaways. So I'll probably just pick three winners. And uh, I've got a list of whiskeys that I have here at the house. And good thing there was. Good thing that, look. It's literally, it's literally laying on its side and it's not pouring out. So anyway, uh, probably for Monday, whenever I do a Patreon giveaway, I will uh, pick three people and then they can choose samples that I have here at the house. And they can just go through and pick stuff. Anyway, don't forget to check the description below. I got links to my Tattered Beans page. Order some coffee from me. I got my Teespring there. I got t-shirts up order a t-shirt from me if you want to support me on patreon.com and you can have access to the uh, list of whiskeys that I have you can get samples from me there so um, join patreon.com forward slash Kelly Red Beard Sparks don't forget to check out the Bearded Idiots like always drink some whiskey share with your friends and family don't drink and drive be safe this is all for educational purposes only y'all have a good night take care